All right, everybody, welcome back. We had some great tutorials so far on Tigris, Way of the Tigris, Couching, Crouching Tiger, Hidden Hand, and the Poe theme deck, Control. This is the deck. It's um, probably what I'm known for, I guess, it would be the Championship Shen deck. And there's a couple different ways to build it. This Shen deck is a really great deck, maybe the most powerful tier as we do this video. Great, great deck, a lot of viability. So we'll start to take a look at it now. So, um, well, that's in the, that's in the, um, let's go to the collection, take a look at it further. So I made this deck when I didn't have any cards, so there's nothing more than whites and commons. And so, um, it's just a very solid deck. The cannonball right here, that's good if they have two creatures on the board. It stuns one, gets rid of them. Usually they have about two health left, so it's really good board clear. Confident Contractor gets equipment to your hand, which helps build up your hand for the Candid Canine, which has been my win condition in this deck a majority of times because it gets strength for the cards you have in your hand. Fast Foul, um, I didn't have any other cards. I don't want to take this deck. Once I got champion with it, I kind of uh, put it in the mausoleum, so to speak. So it might be a little dated now as more decks are coming out and people are getting more familiar, but this was, um, you want to have two Fast, uh, fa fast Fouls. Uh, Feathered Fury, a lot of F's in this deck, a lot of alliteration, um, so this might be tricky, but Feathered Fury, 5 with Tackle, which means you can use this, put it on Shen, hit an enemy, and you won't take any damage back from it, it's good to clear out a tricky minion mid-game. This is the card, this is the card that separates Shen from everybody else, the Fire Emblem. If you're going against the Poe deck that I made, um, this card this is very, very difficult to deal with. It takes all those big creatures, turns them into 1-1, one, one, so all that build up opposed health or control decks are trying to establish with board control, this wipes them down, puts them down at 1, and really puts a kink in their plans. Great card, especially in conjunction with, wait for it, this one. So at turn 6, let's say they got a good board. You do turn them all the one ones, then you do two to four damage of them. With if you do the math, two is more than one, which means it would completely clear the board at turn six. So if you're in trouble, hold on, clear the board, reestablish control with the Candid K9. This one, which has won me so many games, so many games, this card's hard to get rid of. You establish board control, and this card's been my finisher. Let's say I have two creatures on the board, put the tough talons in between them, they become beefier of minions, and that's finished it off with. Usually a candid canine gets finished with it, and then you just you rock and roll. That's the basic deck. You just clear their board. It's another form of control, whereas instead of building big creatures and wiping them down, you're actually dealing them with scrolls. So it's like a scroll control. Well, it's not easy to say. Scroll control, yeah. and then you just finish them off with creatures because they have nothing left because you wipe them down with your scrolls. So hopefully we'll see that in action. It's live, so we don't know what we're going to see. Maybe I'll get my... Uh, deck handed to me, but we'll see. So we'll go in to a match and we'll see what we come up with. So, just a different variant of control deck, and I've got some great ideas for upcoming streams around showing different archetypes. And an archetype basically means a type of deck, like a control, an aggro, um, scroll control. I may, I may have coined a new phrase. So, here we go. Going against the Poe, maybe this guy had seen my Poe video and was trying to implement some of the ideas there, so we'll see. There we go. A lot of good low-cost minions to establish early control. The red fireworks, I'm going to keep that in my hand because it is such a great card. If this was turn one, I may not have kept it because it has such a high cost. But since I'm going second, I have that extra card to play with. I want to keep a card like that in my hand. I'm going to confirm my choices and let's see what happens here. His name is Spirited Badger. Um, welcome. And I hope we have a great game. And look at that. Fire Emblem. So maybe I'll be able to see, we'll be able to see that combo. Fire Emblem, Red Firework combo. It's so devastating. I'm going to go ahead and get some early board presence here. And I'm going to do it with the pig. And the reason I'm going to do it with the pig and not the mollusk is they're both great and they both will survive that initial attack. But the pig gets me equipment back in my hand. And I'm going to attack. I'm going to put pressure on because I have a good uh, hand to get some early minions on the board and establish that board presence that is so key to my, my strategy to playing. So we'll see how he responds here. Um, 
and he's, he's pondering right now. So he he's <laughs> he ended his turn. He didn't go for an armory, which would have been, if you don't have any cards in your hand, the correct play is always go for the armory and get something out of it. At least have something positive in your turn, maybe attacking Shen. Um, you want to, even if you have nothing to play, you can always go to the armory. So I'm going to continue with the board pressure. I'm going to be undaunted by that. I'm going to bring out my musical mollusk. I'm going to attack. And I'm going to pull the pig contractor back. Now normally if you see my tigress deck, you see more of an aggressive style. Remember, this is more of a control style, so I don't necessarily have to go all in. I can keep this back because inevitably something's going to take that two damage from that contractor, and I'm going to get the equipment out of it. So I'm going to play a little bit uh, carefully here and see what he does. And if, and if everything goes um, down, then I still have that combo at turn six that I'm, I rely on. Also, um, with him, you want to again remember if he does, uh, if your opponent doesn't play anything early, that might mean he has a lot of big game minions like the, the yak or the crab. Um, so you want to be aware and keep something back so that you have a little bit of defense for so that he just steamrolls you with creatures. Or this could be that he has just left the game and is silently appraising this deck and maybe watching me, uh, my stream right now. That's what I'm, that's what I'm hoping is happening. He's, he's taking his time to watch my stream and uh, my po deck and figuring out the best course of action, which I recommend you do on Shifu of the Cards at YouTube. Shameless plug, but there's downtime here. We're getting down to the timer, 15 seconds. I don't want to um, assume he's not there, but it looks like he's not there. So this will be a uh, maybe a quick game. So we draw a card, another Fire Emblem. That's not necessarily great because we already have one. And it doesn't look like he's there, even if we didn't. But we're going to go ahead and attack. And since we, we're just going to go ahead and assume he's not there, we're just going to attack. And by the way, if he isn't there and he's watching this, brilliant strategy. If, you're, if your plan was to act like, it's called playing possum. You're doing, if you're doing that, it's a great idea because I am. The, I just fell for it. So then my turn. I take this time to talk about the um, Sheep of the Cards YouTube stream. And this is live, so you never know what's going to happen. This uh, person is a Poe fan and is trying to give me a chance to um, give me some free commercial time for myself. And I appreciate that. Uh, red fireworks. So here we have red fireworks times two, red emblem times two. If he were to play, he would be in big trouble. So we're gonna go for an equipment here, and this is a great card. So uh, we have time because he's not there. Shen's cannon, great card. Um, play that on the board if you have defense, so it's protected and it just does five damage to a creature or warrior on the other side. And I'll do this. I'll go ahead and put it in guard, and we'll just pretend he's here. And we'll attack. And I want you to see what happens. If there is no warrior on the other side, then uh, it will just hit him right to his uh, face. Health pool. So, um, he's still not there. And, of course, the sunlight's been let in. That is my opponent going for the door and leaving. We've illustrated that with a new cool technique of a door opening right behind me. It's all part of the plan and the mystique of the stream. So we're going to go ahead and keep on attacking. As he is not there, you really see the strategy of this deck. And don't worry, I'm going to um, probably go ahead and do another stream on this since this isn't really showing you too much about this deck. And unfortunately we have another turn of this to deal with because, uh, well, he's down to one health. So here we go. This stream might go a little long, but I do kind of want to have competition here to show you what this what this deck can do. Obviously, any deck can beat somebody not there. This deck is a little, a little stronger than that. So here we go. In this game, we win. We're going to go ahead and queue up real fast and um, try to play someone that is actually there. It will probably offer us a little bit more competition, one would assume. So here we go. We'll queue right back in. 
Hopefully get some by play. Um, I don't want anyone to play with me. And we'll get some I would see if we can have a little fun and um, have the same result a win, but a more fulfilling win against someone. Here we go. Found an opponent and it shut down. So live stream. <laughs> We're gonna try this again. It's we have we will persevere. We'll persevere. So we'll get someone and uh, we'll play. This is gonna happen. I believe this is gonna happen. I want to show you the shed deck, and, and this will happen. This is uh, another take another time for me to say, please follow me on Twitter, Shifu of the Cards, and my YouTube channel for more exciting videos of gameplay like this and and a uh, kind of uh, um, Shen versus Shen. More exciting gameplay like this and actual maybe opponents that stay in. You never know. So at level 17, Shen, the Soulful Given. It's a very interesting name. And I'm gonna, like I said, I'm gonna go over on this one because I want to show some competition. Because I'm going second, I'm gonna keep that red firework. This is a good solid opening hand. I have my radish romper. Good if Casey plays a little bit more control. Um, I have a lot of late game in here. I'm not gonna play the radish romper until he has a taunter. But what I will do is I will assume that he's gonna have a taunter keep that two cost minion in my hand. So I'm going to use this Chi gem to get a 3-3 three, three out and put pressure on him. And again, three health total is the key on all my cards so that they stay alive after that initial attack. Because now not only did I do three, this minion is still on the board to respond to whatever threats he plays or to make him attack it directly, take another three. That's a good play by him. That card I used in, a, in another deck. Brilliant, brilliant play there on his part. And see, now hopefully he puts it in taunt. He did, so he's been. That's good play, good play. So now I'm in a conundrum. They use the radish romper. He's going very aggressive. He's going all in, and I like that. So I'm going to put in. Uh, I'm going to keep that radish romper around just in case he will eventually put one in taunt. I believe. So I'm going to put that fast foul. Well, there's a lot of alliteration here. And I'm going to go right to his face. I'm going to show him. Hey, I can be an aggressive too, buddy. Go right to his face and end my turn. Um. In my hand, I have my one of my favorite three cost cards to play next turn. So it's looking pretty good for us. We have the answer if he goes taunt, and there's the taunt. I would have, if I was him, not a, not a bad play, I would have gone and taken that 3-1 out to help protect that goose. I'm going to hit the 1-7. I'm going to hit that and take the goose out of the play with my ability I'm gonna attack with the two three so you see the work that the given did so I mean the radish the radish romper he's a given but the radish romper did that I'm gonna protect him with this ox now um, one of my favorite cards of course we talked about before is the bunny bowman and had I wanted to improve this deck remember I kind of mothballed this deck because it was my first champion I would have probably put two of those in there. Cannonball, good play on his part. He's playing very, very well. Takes away, does two damage, stuns my guy. He should attack it here since it won't do any damage to him and clear it out. And he didn't. Uh, it's just a different strategy. He's playing very, very aggressive. So I'm going to now throw my croc up gold tooth out, hit him. I'm going to play aggressive as well. I have a five point advantage. This is this game will not be for the weak of heart. This game is just a slugfest right now. Two shins. Um, he has some health recovery, so I see his little plan there. That's good. He should have attacked that play last turn because see he took one damage. Had he attacked when it was stunned last turn, he would not have taken that one damage. So a slight error on his part there. Not too big a deal you would think at one damage, but it might end up costing. We'll see. I don't personally like meditate cards because. It, it waits a turn for them to go. So I'm going to use my rockets and hopefully clear out that 3-3. Hopefully I get the random generated to do 3 damage to that and clear it out. And let's see if I did. I did not. It's a 5-1. So what I'm going to do is play another guard here. I'm going to go to his face with the 3-3. Three, three. Go to the face with the 2. He's down to 12. I'm 10 points ahead. I would have liked to clear out that 5-1, but 
with the, the rockets, but it didn't. It, it gives me two to four. In this case, I needed three. It gave me two, so he's still alive. Which could leave me open for a nasty counterattack. We'll see what happens. Um, again, here's the benefit of that high health pool, the 1-3. That hero cannot clear that minion out. So, if it was a 2 cost, there's the Candy K9. Good card. He has a very good Shen deck. I would have held him in defense there. He's really trying to push damage um, and go. It's good, but sometimes you know when to push and when to hold back. He's just going for it. And he's leaving himself over. He's left himself open to a counterattack. So he's at a low, and, and that's, and this is what happened. Let himself open. So I have three damage on the board. I can do a couple of different things. If I do this, it does eight. That's not enough. If I do this, it does ten. So five. Remember, I told you in the beginning. I said this was my finisher combo, and here it is coming to fruition. When that happened. So we do this, we go right to face, and because he was so hyper aggressive, he let himself open to this and he lost. So good so two Shen decks, an aggressive Shen build, and my kind of controlly build. He was too committed to aggression. Even if you build an aggro deck, there's still times to play defense. Don't leave yourself open to counterattacks like that. Be aware of your health total. You don't need to attack if you're in low health total, because that's what can happen to you. You can have somebody sit there and combo you down and win the game. Hope you learned a lot from this Shen deck. As always, please like and subscribe to my videos. I've had a great time doing this Shen tutorial. You got double the action. Um, so hopefully you enjoyed it. Like and subscribe. Please leave me any comments, um, positive or negative. I learned from either one. I want to make this these videos as well-rounded and complete for you as possible. Thank you very much. I remain the Shifu of the cards. Hope you all have a great day. And keep playing.